A great feature with a Canvas quiz is the ability to see all of the statistics. So to see the statistics, you just open up your quiz and over here you'll see quiz statistics. Now I'm in a fake course with my own two kids who didn't really submit anything, so um, you're not gonna really see any accurate numbers here, but you'll at least see what is available. So on this particular quiz, um, you can see the class uh, average score. Actually, I shouldn't say class, I should say course, um, because it's all the kids in that particular course. The course average score, the highest score, the lowest score, standard deviation, and the average amount of time it took for students to complete this activity. Okay, as I scroll down, it'll show me a breakdown of every single question. So, for question number one, the students who answered it, it'll show me a, a breakdown of how many picked this answer, how many picked this answer, how many picked this one, and so forth. And again, I'm really sorry it's a, a fake course because I don't want uh, real student data on the internet with YouTube, um, but you can kind of imagine, you know, 30 students pick this, 10 students pick this, 20 students pick this, and you'd be able to see kind of the breakdown of your class. It'll give you a percentage of who answered it correctly, um, as well as like, you know, the, the discrimination index or the uh, deviation index. Okay, so you can do that for every single question. You can come down, and that way you can start putting together an idea of, you know, did only 50% of the kids get this question right? Or, you know, did 95% get it right? And you can start having those conversations about questions and maybe what needs to get retaught in the classroom or what needs to be structured differently or what kind of skill you need to hit harder or even just your, your DOK levels, your depth of knowledge levels, and anything that you might need to address. But it's a great way to see all the, the data from an assignment in one quick uh, glance.